Hi everyone, Baker on the Dark Side. So I am here enjoying December, which is my favorite month because I get to make Christmas cookies. So that is like my favorite thing in the whole world. I love this. So um, I have this big production where I spend one week where I make the doughs. And then I spend another week where I prep the cookies and get them ready. And then I have a baking and decorating week. And then I give them out. Uh, when I bake for other people, I always wear my hair net. So I'm sorry, not gonna look too pretty in this video. <laughs> but there's nothing worse than making a wonderful thing for someone and you find a hair in it. I'm sorry, that's just gross. I hate it when I see the Food Network or chefs on TV and they never have a hairnet on. These girls have these long, big hair, no hairnet. Yuck. Okay, you know there's a piece of hair in there. All right. So anyway, um, I said one of the things that I was going to do is make um, my family's recipes, which I am. But the other thing I think I said in the beginning is that I wanted to also put my recipes on video for my children so that they didn't have to go through the family recipe box, that crazy recipe box, and try to figure out how to make things. It'll be there forever. So that's just my whole thing. Um, so these are my recipes. So the one I'm going to make uh, is my kid's favorite, um, Peanut Butter Secrets. And this is a wonderful, wonderful peanut butter cookie recipe where it's a lot of peanut butter flavor and it's stuffed with a mini peanut butter cup. So you don't get much more peanut butter than that, right? Okay. So we're going to make this thing. Um, one of the things I couldn't find that I normally use is butter flavored uh, Crisco. I couldn't find it. So we're using regular Crisco and um, we're going to put a butter flavoring in to make it work. Um, I also might put a little of my praline in there because it's really got a buttery flavor. So I'm sorry for the loud mixer, bear with me. So we've got one cup of shortening in here. I use the sticks, so much easier. You can use whatever you want. So this is my good old Bessie here. She had a little um, mishap and she wasn't going to middle gear. So uh, my husband fixed her, awesome, engineer, knows how to make things work. So we're going to get this creamed up, and then this is my Pampered Chef uh, measuring for solids. I told you, if you don't get one of these, you should get one of these. Go to Pampered Chef. I'm sure you can go to PamperedChef.com and order it. So this is one and a half cups of packed brown sugar, and so you just lean this baby over and you do that and it's in there. So awesome. This also takes one cup of sugar. Now I'm doubling this recipe because as I said, this is the this is the favorite. And it's always, even though I double it, it's still not enough. <laughs> so we are going to double it. So that'll make about 60 cookies. So I put the cup of sugar in. I've got the brown sugar in. Gonna let that cream up really well. It's looking good. And what do I always say? Scrape, 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 right? Scraping is fundamental. So we're gonna scrape this baby. This is easier than scraping the cheesecake though, for sure, by far. All right, so. And get that creamed, get that in there. I'm gonna go as fast as I can for you so you're not bored out of your mind. Okay. Get that in there. Cream it up nice and light. Scrape, scrape. All right, scraping again. As I told you, scraping is the most important thing that you can do. Scraping the bottom, scraping the paddle. If you remember anything about baking, scraping is it. I am the master scraper. I have scraped a lot, a lot of cookie dough, a lot of cheesecake. 
A lot of everything. I told you, I made a thousand Christmas cookies once. It was crazy. All right, so now I have my butters and sugars in there. So this is my other Pampered Chef small version. Um, this is my one cup of peanut butter. So that's going in. So there is definitely a lot of shortening, a lot of fattening things in this. This is not a low cal Christmas cookie by any means. You're not gonna lose any weight eating this Christmas cookie. <laughs> I'm gonna put my vanilla in, one tablespoon, and my butter flavoring, which I'm gonna use praline. I'm sorry, I, I love it. I'm obsessed with this pralines and cream. I got it from this local guy. So it might not be as buttery as it normally is, but I don't care, it's still gonna taste good. It's still mostly peanut butter, you know. Um, okay, and then I've got my Salt, one teaspoon of salt, throwing it in. And I like to put my baking powder and my baking soda at this stage too, because that way I know that it's definitely been done. Uh, let's see, what do I need? I should know this by heart as many times as I've made this. Okay, so then one teaspoon, doubling it, two teaspoons of baking soda. Hi everyone, bake around the dark side. So we have been making our peanut butter secrets. As you know, we did the dough. So now we are going to um, do a little bit of the prep. So I miss my young little children who used to unwrap all of these peanut butter cups for me. And I had to do it all myself. Oh, they're all older, doing their own thing. <laughs> Here's the dough, the peanut butter dough that we made. I put it in the plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator just to chill it a little bit. It's pretty manageable no matter what you do, but it's better if you chill it just a little bit. And I'm just gonna show you um, an example of what you do. I've um, got this half sheet pan with a piece of parchment on it because these are gonna go in the freezer and then they're gonna get wrapped in, and put in the freezer. So you're gonna take a piece of dough, probably about this size, okay? I'd say maybe two tablespoons. And you're gonna make a hole like that and you're gonna take a mini peanut butter cup. This is the miniature size. And you're gonna stick it in the middle. See that? Okay. And then you're going to push it in. See that? You're pushing it in. Can you see that? Okay. Sorry, it's kind of a shadow here. And then you're gonna wrap it around. And then you're gonna make it into a ball. Really nice ball. Make sure it's completely covered. There's no cracks. Okay, and it looks like that. And then you line it up onto the cookie sheet like this. And then you just put them, wrap them, put them in the freezer. And when you're ready, you'll defrost them. And then uh, just like an hour, not too much, because you want them to be cold, but not frozen when you bake them. And uh, you, then you bake them, 375 usually around mm, 15 to 20 minutes. Depends how brown you like them. So I will show you a finished baked one when we get done, but I wanted to show you the prep and I got about 80 more of these to do. So see you later. I miss my kids. Hi, I'm back. So watched a little Hallmark Christmas movie and rolled all of my peanut butter cup cookies. So, <laughs> Here is a little baker secret. This is what they do in bakeries. We have these nice clean garbage bags, right? You can put your cookie sheet in the garbage bag. Goes right in. Just like that. And now your, your sheet is completely in there. See that? Completely sealed, completely in there. You don't have to mess with the plastic wrap. And then you can just either use a twist tie. I just tie it in a knot at the end. And then it is completely sealed. Completely sealed. You don't have to worry about anything getting in there. And then you can just write right on the garbage bag, whatever it is. And then I just write my PB, my PB cookies on there. And there you go, you're all set. And then you can oh, stick it in the freezer. Stick it in the freezer, and when you're ready, you'll thaw it out just in the bags. 
and then you'll put them on the cookie sheets to bake. And I'll show you the finished product. I have a couple taste tests for you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, so here we are. We finished our cookies. I just did two sample ones. Um, this is the regular recipe right here. And then this one, I just wanted to see what would happen if I added a little more peanut butter with but putting peanut butter chips on top. So yeah, I don't think it's as pretty. So, but I wanted to see what would happen. And then, but this is what it really looks like when it comes out of the oven. I did overbake it just a tad. So those cracks don't normally happen. I put it in the air fryer oven and that thing kicks out heat. So, you know, things happen. So the next thing is for this demonstration, um, I have melted some peanut butter and some chocolate, milk chocolate. And so you can do one of two things. You can either um, just go over the top like so, you know, and just get some chocolate on there. You can cover up those cracks that way too. <laughs> when you over bake your cookies. <laughs> All right, so I have put that on to make it look a little prettier. There it is, so you could do that. Um, you could add, if you want some festivity, you could add a few of these little sprinkles on here to make it more Christmassy. Some people like sprinkles, some people don't, but you could do that. The other thing that I normally do is, when I have the whole batch going, is I will take it and I will dip the whole top of the cookie in there and give it like a chocolate top. So I'm just doing a demonstration, so I only did two cookies. So I'm kind of trying to gauge like how much chocolate I would need. So you could do that. Just trying to cover that as much as possible. So there's that. So you could do that and leave it like that and let it harden. You could also add the sprinkles on to that too to make it prettier. Um, anything you want. So we just do that. I just threw those on there. So the whites went to one side and the reds went to the other side. <laughs> All right, so you know, usually you mix them up a little bit, but anyway, that's uh, the peanut butter cup cookie. And so now the best part is to break it open and see what it looks like. So I don't wanna break these pretty ones open. I'm gonna leave those, but I do want you to see what the inside looks like. So I have a couple here that are just plain still. Um, so I'm gonna just break one of these babies open for you so you can see the inside. And see, there's that peanut butter cup middle. So dang good. Definitely the favorite. I hope you want to try it. I'll put the recipe out there for you. And happy holidays. Oh, one more thing. Everybody keeps saying to me, ask people to subscribe. So I keep forgetting to tell you, subscribe. <laughs> happy holidays, everyone. I hope you're having a great time. Baker on the dark side, but more importantly, on Candyland, Cookie Land, Christmas Land, Happy Land. <laughs>